The RAV4 ate up the outer loop of the beltway as Trapp stomped on the gas. Cars flashed by left and right as the black Toyota sped past, flashes of color in Trapp's peripheral vision. He was in hot pursuit of the motorcade, heading east, which either meant that Donahue's protection detail was intending to cross Woodrow Wilson Memorial Bridge and head through Alexandria, or they were planning to fake right at the very last minute and turn onto Route 295 instead of crossing the Potomac. Keep me in the loop, guys. The White House, Director Donahue's destination, was just 15 miles away from Joint Base Andrews, about a half-hour drive with the usual traffic. He was already ten minutes into the pursuit, which meant that if someone was planning on hitting the motorcade, it could happen at any moment. He needed to be there when it did. Where are they? Kyle has them on the traffic cam. They're about a mile ahead of you. What are my options here? He was pretty sure that the Israeli mercenaries would attempt an ambush at some point within the next ten miles. You need to keep him alive, Hangman. Whatever it takes. Thanks for the armchair quarterback and Mike. I was hoping for something a little more concrete. Then you shouldn't have joined the agency. I told you, I'm out. What's Kyle got? I concur with your assessment, Hangman. They're going to strike at one of the bridges. They're natural choke points. But beyond that, I've got nothing. I'm not picking up anything out of the ordinary on my end. But all I have access to right now is the traffic camps. They could be anywhere. Crap. He glanced down into the footwell on the passenger side, where he had dumped the duffel bag containing the Heckler & Koch MP5 submachine gun. It was just out of sight, but close enough that he could reach over and grab the weapon in a matter of seconds. The glowing digital odometer in front of him read 110 miles per hour. You're closing in on the motorcade fast, Trap. You're about 500 yards back. Slow down so they don't make you. Trap racked his brain for a plan. Right now, all he was doing was speeding toward disaster. Can you patch me into Donahue's detail? We need to throw a wrench into their plan. Get him heading in another direction. Doesn't matter where. Minutes of relentless tension followed as the clock counted down ever closer to catastrophe. Got it. It took me a while. Don't have access to my usual systems. Patch me in. Done. Trap yanked the steering wheel, overtook a battered pickup truck that had seen better days, and began weaving through traffic again, making up lost time. NSA protection detail. Do you read? I say again. NSA protection detail. This is CIA officer Jason Trap. Do you read me? There came no reply. Trap pushed the stolen car to its limits. Ahead of him, just as he had predicted, the motorcade peeled away from the Potomac crossing at the very last second and took Route 295 instead, traveling parallel to the river. Kyle, what the hell's going on? I thought you said you patched me in. The line was dead. He was on his own. Damn it. Trap took the same off-ramp onto Route 295, following close behind Donahue's motorcade, now just 100 yards ahead. What the hell is happening? Trap pulled his phone from his pocket, leaving one hand on the steering wheel. He glanced down at the screen and saw that it had no bars of signal. The odometer in front of him nudged past 120 miles an hour and kept climbing. Everything was going to hell, and quickly. The Toyota vibrated beneath him as he zigzagged through traffic. Trap was an intelligent man, and he quickly grasped that someone was jamming his comms. And not just his... Donahue's, too. Overhead, Trapp heard the familiar sound of a helicopter's rotors. Joint Base Anacostia was close, and although, as far as Trapp knew, it was mostly home to ceremonial military units, he wondered whether somehow Mitchell had come through with backup. Ahead of him, Donahue's motorcade screamed off Route 295 and through a section of roadworks that stood between the freeway and the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. The motorcade slowed fractionally, but only for a distance of a couple of hundred feet, and within seconds, they raced clear through and onto the bridge. Trapped followed, blood pounding in his ears as he watched the inevitable occur. Ahead of him, the bridge exploded in fire. <laughs> 